Hey kids, Sparky here. It can be fun to help make a meal or a snack, but it's also important to be fire safe in the kitchen. Let's check out what Safety Scout Steve has to say. He's kind of a junior fire safety dog in training. It's me, Safety Scout Steve, and I'm on a secret mission to earn my kitchen safety merit badge. This could get ugly. Follow me. Whoa, whoa, Steve. What? I need you to stay three feet away from the stove. Young kids need to stay three feet away. Of course. I actually knew that. Got that, everybody? Three feet away. <clears throat> uh, let me inspect your microwave instead. Hey, buddy. It looks like this microwave is made for you. It's mm. perfect. You're taller than the front of the microwave. Mm -hmm. It's easy to take food out, and you won't spill it on yourself. Mm, right, of course. I'm tall enough for this microwave. I knew that, too. Follow me. Now, Steve, we need to make sure this isn't too hot. What should you do if you actually burn yourself? Well, if you do get burned, you're going to want to cool it right away. Mm. Put the burn in cool water for three to five minutes, mm -hmm. and get help from a grown-up right away. Ah, put burn in cool water. Mm -hmm. Then three to five minutes, mm -hmm. get grown up, right? I mean, you're right, because I already knew that. Right. So, Steve, kids should always check with the grown up before using the microwave. Got it. Thank you, Chef Khalil. You've passed inspection. I'm sure you learned a lot.